So I finally got round to seeing the Eras tour on Disney Plus. Um, I thought I knew Taylor's songs, um, as in I had them on in the background on Spotify, listened to all of the albums all the way through, because I liked 1989 and I liked some of the hits from other albums. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, have a listen. So I listened to them, I thought, you know, good songs. Did they all capture me? You know, not necessarily, but I didn't think they were bad songs. I thought they were written well in their own way. But then when I watched uh, The Era Store, I thought, I don't know these songs as well as a, you know. And it's three hours, three, three and a half hours long, including the acoustic set. And at one point I was thinking I, I would have saw that in cinema, and I'm glad I didn't, because we watched it on, on TV, and it was about three or four settings to do it. Because it's long, and if you don't know the songs that well, it feels longer. Again, not because they're not great songs, but, but I guess because it's three and a half hours long, she's not doing major sort of dance moves. She's she's singing, she's playing the instruments, she's doing some moves. I mean, don't get me wrong, the the, the outfits, the um, stage set pieces. God, the instrument she has, like, sparkly guitars and amazing pianos and stuff. As a musician, I love that. I love that kind of, you know, <clears throat> the effort, but also the fact that it's sort of an iconic look to it, but also you kind of feel like, you know, I've got my guitars and I've picked them because of the way they sound, but also because of the way they look. You know, it's a bit of both. So fine, you know. And her fans seem to love it. You know, they're going, they're listening to this and singing along to everything. So great. But I just felt like if I'd, if I'd gone to the concert or if I'd gone to the cinema to watch it, I just would have been like, and when's the hit being played? When's the single being played? And they were, they were there, although for something like Blank Space, she missed out verses and stuff. So I was like, I waited all this time for a song I knew and loved, and you didn't do all of it. So, and again, I understand it's three and a half hours long. She knackered. She'd be tired. I would be. Um, yeah, I mean... I'm not going to try and compare it to other artists because what what people have said in the past is things like, oh, she's so famous, she's more famous than anyone else. And I'm like, no. Um, because there were artists who were around pre-internet and you could go to the middle of nowhere where there's... People have radios, but they don't have... Or well, at the time, they didn't have TVs, no internet, just no one had internet, it didn't exist. Um, and and the people there could sing every word of every song of an artist, do all the dance moves and everything, you'd be like, how do you know this? You don't have TVs. And and even if you did have TVs, like, there was a point in time when not everyone had MTV in every part of the world, so it, if you're in America, you, ha you might have had be able to watch videos, but you you couldn't do that in the UK unless it was shown on telly at some per certain time of the week, and even then, they preferred doing the live performance. So, I mean, I remember something like Thriller. We went out and bought it. We bought a VHS of it. But yeah, there are parts of the world where you won't be able to do that and people knew. They knew the dances, they knew the songs, they knew everything. So <clears throat> no disrespect. Not gonna make a comparison though. 
what I will compare to is so this Eras is on Disney Plus, but there's a Netflix uh, concert. Just trying to remember, I think it's Reputation. Um, so again, it's Taylor's. And I thought that was better. It is very different. And I get what she's doing. And I have a lot of respect for re recording your albums. So you, one, it's your version. Got fans that will buy it, but also you're screwing over the person that bought your back catalogue that some nutter bloke that you don't like. Great. And you got it into the cinemas when no one wanted it, which is weird. Why would no one want it when you've got a worldwide concert? But then having sat through it, I'm kind of like, it's three hours, and if you don't know those songs, it's not on everyone kind of film but, but looking at those fans in the crowd yeah I think there were enough people to watch that for sure and you know the figures the money that it brought in shows that um, on the flip side she did another thing for Disney she's in a cabin an album post COVID that was great really enjoyed that and I know those songs turn up but it's just the way it was presented I, I guess I preferred that I don't know just just my thoughts and you know I'm I'm Gen X uh, I'm, I'm an older person I'm not it's not really aimed at me but I really like the singles she's released because they're, some of them are catchy and some of them are clever. And there are other artists at the moment who get rave reviews and I don't listen to them and I think I get why they're different and interesting and why people like them. Are they for me? No, but it's not like I... It's not like I hate them. It's not like if it came on the radio, I'd turn it off. Whereas during the 80s, there was so much drivel that came on the radio that was in the charts. We were like, I'm turning this off. It's just, why is this in the charts? It's not that feeling. Um, and for me, and a lot of the people in my generation, we're like, there's songs we loved that never really got into the top ten but they were way better. The albums were way better than the stuff that got in there. And some of that stuff got forgotten. And even like late 80s, early 90s stuff, like Acid House is an example. It's a whole genre of music that we remember and love. And whenever you do like an 80s or a 90s throwback film or people go on about it, they never pick those songs. You're like, they were brilliant. They set off a whole genre of stuff too. So, no, don't ignore them. I'm, I'm off topic now, but finally got to watch it. Amazing, sparkly. If you love her music and you, and you know her songs, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. If you don't know her songs, it's, it's a drag then till you find the ones that you do know. Or maybe just go off and listen to them. Could do worse. There are good good albums. Uh, but um, work through a few other things like this. Um, I will watch Miss Americana at some point. But, you know, work through different documentaries and, and music uh, sort of shows by other artists. It's quite a lot of choice on now. I quite like the fact that you can just go on a streaming service and get that. And and that, you know, artists are not going, well, I'm just going to stick to one streaming service. They put out content for each one and different ones. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Don't hate me for not liking all of it. I just, I just find it really long. Maybe it's because I'm older. So if you want me to pay attention for three hours, okay, it's got to be amazing then, you know, younger generation, maybe not, I don't know. 